السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب زدني علما اللهم لا سهل الا ما جعلته سهلا وانت تجعل الحزن الى شيء تسهل اهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم I welcome you all to the class of Dulus uh, Lughal Arabiya Lughayri Nadiqina We have, alhamdulillah, we have done 11 lessons Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Arabin Of book one, right? Inshallah, we have almost 11 lessons more Or 12 lessons more, inshallah Before we finish this book And go ahead to the next book, inshallah ta'ala in this lesson, lesson number 12, we are learning about feminine anti, anti and hazihi, etc. Inshallah, we will learn about anti and hazihi and, <coughs> and the other uh, feminine uh, pronouns here, etc. So, and the attached pronoun also, we are learning in this lesson, uh, like uh, haluki. So we learned in the previous lesson that kaifa uh, haluka, uh, this is called damirun muttasilun, an attached pronoun. <clears throat> this is called an attached pronoun. Attached pronoun. Okay. This is called an attached pronoun. And this is joined when a pronoun joins to a noun, it becomes mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Okay. So this is also a type of mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Right. Is also a type of mudaf and mudaf ilayhi. Kaifa halu ki. Kaifa halu ki. Ya bintu. Right? So instead of saying kaifa halu ka, now we'll say kaifa halu ki. Why are we saying kaifa halu ki? Because you're speaking to a feminine, feminine person. Because you're speaking to a feminine person, we will say kaifa halu ki. Right? Kaifa halu ki. Ya bintu. And we learned in the previous lesson that uh, whenever Ya is joined to a verb, uh, to a word. What happened is, is Tanween drops off. So actually it was Bintun. Right? It was Bintun. What happened? Because of this Ya, <coughs> one Tanween drops, right? Kaifa Haluka. How, how Haluki? Because you're speaking to a feminine person, we'll say Kaifa Haluki Ya Bintu. We cannot say Ya Bintun. Because after Ya, it cannot have, it's called Halfu Nida. Right? This is called Halfu Nida. Okay, this is called Halfu Nida. And uh, after the word of Halfu Nida, the Munada. This is called the Munada. The person being called is called Munada. It's called Munada. Right? The Munada loses its Tanwin. Okay? So you cannot say Ya Muhammadun. You have to say Ya Muhammadu. Right? Also, in uh, the general language, what happens is we, 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 we don't say the endings as such. Right? We'll say, uh, Ya Muhammad, right? So that's how it is. So, Kaifa Haluki, Ya Bintu, how are you, O oh, girl, O oh, oh, daughter? Bint can be a girl, also, it can be, it can refer to a daughter also. Ana bi khayrin, walhamdulillah. I am fine, walhamdulillah. I am fine, bi khayrin, I am fine. This is Jarun Majurun again, right? Jar Majur, Ana bi khayrin, walhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. All praise be Lillahi again, Halfujar and Ism Majur. Halfujar and Ism Lilla. Li. All praise belongs to Allah. We learned that Li, it means belongs to. Yeah, we learned this. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yes, Alhamdulillah. Right, Alhamdulillah. Min Aina Anti. Min Aina Anti. That's why learning both the books helps a lot. Alhamdulillah. We can correlate. Yes. Right, Inshallah. <clears throat> we can correlate alhamdulillah min aina anti where are you from min aina anti where are you from right <clears throat> where are you from min aina anti where are you from <clears throat> but uh, generally a student should first finish the madina and books arabic books and then go to arabia bainetic right because uh, arabia bain uh, like Al Arabiya to Baina Edek becomes difficult very quickly. Very quickly it becomes, it jumps the gun. Right? And uh, that's why 
you have to be very careful that's what i feel maybe for others arabia al arabia might be easy and this might be difficult maybe because for me uh, my my alhamdulillah yes i thought alhamdulillah <clears throat> because uh, for me logic is more important right i am a logical person for me i can understand my arabic books uh, grammar very easily because i understand logical points but, but for others it might be very difficult to understand those logics right for me logic is very it's like second nature right because uh, that's how the personality is some first fathers emotions might be important or so many other things yeah uh, that's why uh, logical thinking is it's 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 like uh, easier for me so that's why for me in my view we should start with madhya arabi books but for some others it might be kitabul asasi and there's uh, the american book also al kitab <coughs> alhamdulillah alhamdulillah al kitab al kitab is also there Uh, which is learnt by the Americans uh, Institute, Al Kitab. Uh, that is also a good book. But it's, it also uh, goes into a lot of advanced things in the future. But we have not learnt anything as such. This is just the beginning of Arabic grammar. <laughs> we've not gone into verbs. We've not gone into weak verbs. We've not gone into hollow verbs. We've not gone into uh, the assimilated verbs. We've not gone into double verbs. verbs are the essence and that will come in book 2 in book 2 madina al book we cannot escape from verbs at all okay <clears throat> and we have not even started arabic language as such this is just the preparatory phase it is preparing for the hard part which is the verbs it's not hard it just requires a lot of practice 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 right, right? every sentence has a verb so you we cannot run from away from verbs especially the hollow verbs <laughs> like the, the even the university students they what they, what they do is they run away from the hollow verbs right they think that we can get away with it but you cannot get away with it because there are almost every paragraph almost everywhere so we should be very <coughs> careful no verbs uh, especially the weak verbs the naqis and misal and ajwaf and mudaaf then the extended forms uh 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 the timing is the same time 9:30 pm indian time fridays and saturdays walib salam to allah ka to fridays and saturdays this is the time okay inshallah every week inshallah fridays and saturday 9:30 pm indian time you could convert to your time inshallah okay where we complete our book 1 now and inshallah after that we will start our book 2 so maybe in a month or one one and a half month inshallah we'll finish book 1 inshallah taala and then or maybe two months max and then we will start book 2 inshallah which will take for another 5 to 6 months right so because book 2 is very detailed and book 3 will again take 6 months so almost a year more year and two months for all the three books inshallah because arabic this is not a crash course <clears throat> that's why my goal is even if there's one student i start the class because uh, inshallah we are doing for the sake of allah subhanahu wa taala and whoever is able to join can join if they are unable to join they can watch it on youtube alhamdulillah many people are watching on youtube also alhamdulillah so it's going anyway alhamdulillah after i die also inshallah if people continue watching inshallah inshallah it's ajr inshallah sawabul jariya inshallah <clears throat> and all our seconds what are we speaking now it's recorded permanently alhamdulillah right <laughs> Okay, so I wish to have such a record. Like now, instead of writing books and stuff, we can have all like whatever Arabic books we can have, uh, we can read like this in this in such a way and put it on YouTube so that people can watch. We can do Tawheed, we can do Aqida, uh, you can do Fiqh, we can do Sirah, we can do so many Arabic books, inshallah. Because the biggest problem which I faced was uh, lack of uh, in such a way, uh, lack of vocabulary. when i learned arabic i had to read and struggle on my own right so i don't want other people to face the same so okay let's continue with the lesson <clears throat> min aina anti where are you from when aina anti where are you from instead of saying anta now we're saying anti right we're saying anti where are you from ana min suria i am from syria i am from syria now we learned in the previous lesson in the lesson number 11 uh, maybe 10 i guess that uh, such words which end with a a a 
like america surya cannot take will not take a kasra okay actually it should be surya e we learned that because because of min what happens is this verb uh, the word should become majrur but such words because it's like weird sounding right so they leave it like that and i mean surya inshallah taala i mean inshallah <clears throat> because teach uh, i could we could do these classes i mean i could do these videos sitting alone also right but it's so boring right even i won't get the enthusiasm alhamdulillah so when we have live classes there'll be a give and take you can ask questions it'll be interactive and it'll be fun for me also inshallah right inshallah and uh, teaching is very enjoyable for me alhamdulillah so although i have i've been teaching since two years alhamdulillah this book but every time i teach it gives me no, more pleasure that people are able to understand the quran inshallah and uh, especially in tarawih uh, when they say that alhamdulillah they can understand the tarawih now alhamdulillah that's a great reward alhamdulillah inshallah right uh, the you get the khushu and khuzu i mean all the 30 days if you are able to understand tarawih that's like so joyful right because i used to stand bored behind before right not able to understand one word at all and we didn't know anything right so that time 5 years 6 years ago <clears throat> now alhamdulillah even after now even now i even now i believe i uh, although i am able to understand every year we should add up to our knowledge by reading tafsir by reading so many books yeah so that every words you know when it was revealed how it was revealed and so many other like you know the asbab an nuzul you know the tafsir maybe you read tafsir ibn kasir so you are reading tafsir saadi now uh, some other tafsir a baghavi when you know arabic you can you can go to so many other tafsirs yeah the authentic ones so that you get to know a various like how they've made commentaries on the verses because every person does it in his in, in his own way right so you understand he might bring a good benefit point which others might not 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 draw it huh? that maybe it's difficult for us to read so many surahs but maybe one surah two surahs so we develop inshallah because one year before my arabic was not so good because if, uh, after teaching 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 it becomes good right alhamdulillah right when i started al arabiya bayna dak i found it so difficult especially the first eight lessons but when i started teaching alhamdulillah now it became easy because the level increases suddenly you realize that you become proficient in the language maybe not proficient but that thing becomes easy so uh, we are doing this lesson okay masmuki <clears throat> what's your name uh, masmuki what's your name again look this is key hmm? ismi aminatu my name is amina right masmuki ismi aminatu okay aina abuki where is your father aina abuki where is your father now uh, notice this key 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 okay is speaking to a feminine that's why i'm saying kiki if it was a masculine we'll say ka okay that's what is a take away from this lesson aina abuki where is your father abi huna fil madinatil munawwara my father is in madina munawwara now we learned in lesson number 9 this is the adjective and this is called nat and this is the manut adjective nat manut and huna is zarf what is zarf zarf is an adverb zarf is an adverb zarf is an adverb abi huna fil madinatil munawwara my friend uh, my not my friend my father is in madina munawwara huwa mufattishun he is an inspector mufattish mufattish he is an inspector fil madrasati sanawiyati in the secondary school he is a he is an inspector in the secondary school huwa mufattishun fil madrasati sanawiyati sanawiya is secondary yeah because the schools in america and some so many highlight the subjects yes of course we can do that abu is the subject right huna is zarf so it's not anything fil madinati is the khabar this is the mubtada this is the khabar abu this is mudaf ilayhi huna is zarf so actually question is uh, the sentence is abu fil madina what is munawwara is not right and huwa mufattishun the subject and predicate is here and this is a subject and this is a predicate that's it rest all jar majrur is extra extra hmm? inshallah is extra he is an inspector mufattish is inspector wa aina ummuki and where is your mother wa aina ummuki we don't analyze questions okay questions are a little complicated even i get confused because sometimes this is the mubtada sometimes this is the khabar it it changes right depending upon the question so 
we won't analyze questions as such because in the sub question also we have predicate subject and predicate but it's not clear to me also although it's clear that most of the things that most of the time the first word is the muktada in the questions but sometimes what happens is uh, yeah let's send it now yes I mean, when we go into book 3 we get it in lesson number um, three or four i guess three or four we learn about analyzing the questions inshallah whenever we get that that will be after ramadan inshallah taftish yes taftish yes mufattish is the same word yes yes taftish karna yes inspecting or searching some something yeah they come and do a detective search search and rescue right mufattish like schools have uh, in charge it's called floor in charge nowadays yeah floor in charges or something like that yeah? they keep check checking up all the stuff about the things how they are teaching the teachers are teaching properly or not okay wa aida ummuki and where is your mother hiya aidan huna she is also here huna is here hiya she is a doctor fil mustashfa al mulada she is a doctor in in the uh, vilada hospital vilada is uh, but so this is like maternity hospital yeah vilada she is in the she is a doctor in the in the fil mustashfa al vilada woman hadhihi al fatatu lati maaka now fata we learned previously fata is very confusing eh because uh, there is there is too many confusing things here okay because there is this fata fata this is a young boy and its plural is fitya it comes in surah kahf surah kahf young boys or young men right young men fata and fitya okay now this some plurals take golta this this round ta right they take this round ta and uh, it is not feminine because of this ta because we have to look at the singular for making it masculine or feminine okay fatan it's fatan right and uh, what is a young girl fatatu right and its plural is fata yatu so this is what is the story now many people get confused right they think fata is young girl fatatu is young boy or they think fatatu is the plural is fitya hmm? if we read surah kahf today's friday right so they kahf we get this fitya right fitya how like um there's some words here fitya tun zidna hum huda wa dabatna ala qulubi min khalu rabbuna rabbu samawati wal ard ya fitya comes in the surah fat uh, surah kahf <coughs> okay so what is here fatatu okay fatatu this is a young girl who is this young girl allati maaki so instead of saying allazi the feminine form of allati right allazi which or who which is used for ghair uh, aqil and aqil is used um what is aqil uh, uh, who right so this is allati who is with you this is for feminine right? allati inshallah we uh, <coughs> will look into more in, in the exercise allati maaki who is with you maa is with you ahiya ukhtuki is she your sister ahiya ukhtuki is she your sister <coughs> a uh, is uh, again used for questioning right a uh, hiya ukhtuki is your is very simple inshallah la hiya bintu ammi no she is the daughter of my uncle no she is the daughter of my uncle bintu ammi so what is am is the uncle right am is the uncle and my uncle is ammi bintu is the daughter of my uncle now there mudaf munaf le double role there are three mudafs i mean three words which are forming mudaf and mudaf ilayhi right this is the first mudaf this is the mudaf ilayhi right daughter of my of uncle and this is again mudaf and this is mudaf ilayhi so the middle word is double role yeah double role la hiya bintu am ammi masmuha that is my uncle's daughter uh, what do you call my uncle's daughter my uncle's daughter, my cousin yeah Masmuha, what's her name? Ismuha. See, we are using ha. Ismuha. Fatima tu. Ismuha. Fatima tu. Her name is Fatima. Fatima. Fatima tu. 
right? And we we'll, we we'll mentioned last time that feminine names do not take the name. Feminine names, okay? People get confused and say think that all feminine common nouns also do not take the name. No, only feminine names. Only feminine. Names the proper nouns. Okay, if it's Sali Batun, it takes Tanvin. Tabi Batun, it takes Tanvin. But the name doesn't take Tanvin. Fatima Tu, Maria Mu, Khadija Tu. Okay, is Muha Fatima Tu? I hear Zamila Tu ki. Is she your colleague, A classmate? Zamila Tu because she's in school, right? Not colleague, classmate. Zamil could be colleague in the office or a classmate in the classroom. Is she your, uh, your classmate? La, no. Anna fil madrasa til mutawasita. I am in the middle school. Mutawasita is the middle school or the, it's called middle, right? Mutawasita. Wahia fil madrasa til sanaviya. And she is in the secondary school. The American system or something. Yeah? They have primary school, middle school, secondary school, high school. We don't have all that in India. Anna fil madrasa til mutawasita ti. Wahia fil madrasa til sanaviya ti. And she is in the secondary school. Alaki Uhtun, do you have sisters? Again, we learned last time. If you want to say, do you have sisters? What do you say? Use laka or laki. We won't say inda. We won't use inda because things which are which which cannot be uh, which cannot be owned as such. Owned as such. Because you don't own your sisters or brothers. You right? They cannot be owned. For that we use laka, like uh, like history, history cannot be owned. Allahu uh, uh, story, Allahu kissa. Does he has a story? Right? It's not owned. The story is not owned. It's just his story. It's also such a way. All body parts. Yeah. Allah kaya Do you have a hand or something? Right? Body parts are not owned as such. They just part of a body. And we are not the owner, and we cannot separate the body part. Allah uh, do, do they have eyes? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Do they ha uh, have eyes or do they have hands? Allah says, Like people who worship idols, do they have so many? Do they speak? They don't speak. Yeah? <clears throat> so Allah says, Why are you worshipping uh, the one who doesn't speak, who doesn't? help you right <sighs> same thing for muslims today many muslims you know they do shirk by going to uh, graves and worshiping them that is also shirk right we should say the same thing to them that why worshiping these people and asking them when you have to ask to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is shirk akbar worshiping anyone but many muslims don't understand they argue back and say no they want to like they have some superpowers they have some superpowers or something right uh, even when they are in Kaaba, they are in Baitullah, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shaitan has deceived them so much. You don't own, you use alaki. Yes. Yes. Like body parts or history. Yeah. You use alaka. Hmm. Uh, but uh, for things you own, a'indaka sayyaratun. Do you have a car? Perfectly fine. I, inda, we use Inda that time. Relations and key parts, yes. Body parts, yes. Alaka mm. Uhtun. Alaki Uhtun. So she says, Alaki Uhtun. So what happens, what I was saying is, uh, they are in the Kaaba and still they're calling their saints. So they're saying, Ya Ali, Ya Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right? They're calling the prophets and they're calling angels, so many people. Although you should be calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So that's Shirk Akbar, right? We should understand Aqeedah also, very important. Because Allah, in Allah, la yaghfir wa yushraka bihi, wa yaghfir ma duna dhalika li mayyasha. Allah does not forgive Shirk, right? Shirk. He can forgive anything else if he wants, inshallah. So Aqeedah is also very important for us to understand. Allah ki ukhtun, do you have sister? Do you have a sister? La ma li ukhtun. No, I don't have a sister. Ma li uhtun. See, we learned ma. Ma has so many functions. So many. It is like always there are so many places. Right? Omniscient or omnipresent. Right? Everywhere you find so many ma's. And always they, they function so many roles in a sentence. 
now this sentence ma ali ukhtun it is negative it's called ma un nafia this ma is called ma un nafia because what happens is uh, the arabs thought that okay if you're saying la la too many times it becomes difficult there yeah? see la la li ukhtun see it sounds so funny la la li ukhtun right the meaning is the same i don't have so if you want to say i don't have anything we use ma generally and then we have verbs where we use ma for past tense and la for present tense inshallah we'll learn them in the future but this is ma un nafia because ma li ukhtun means i don't have a sister so this is la is no so la is generally used for no but i don't you don't hmm? we use ma don't do not right do not la ma li ukhtun i don't have a sister also the meaning is the same la li ukhtun is the same ma li ukhtun i don't have a sister alaki akhun do you have a brother naam li akhun kabirun yes i have a big brother li akhun kabirun yes i have a big brother wa huwa talibun bil jamiati and he is a student in the university and he is a student in the university wa huwa talibun and he is a student in the university bil jamia so why are we saying bil jamia you can say fil jamia also but generally uh, with the university we use ba bil jamia the meaning is the same in the university for the school we use fi right and for the university we use bi see at the haf the the haf you know we learned that uh, ism fail and haf the sentence is formed of three things ism fail and haf yeah fail the verb and the haf what is, is what is an ism ism is something which has a meaning in itself and it that doesn't have any tense right muhammad right what do, muhammad there's no tense when i say muhammad you're not talking about present future or past it's just like that right while a verb like faala he did there's tense in it there's meaning in itself and there's tense in it while we come to have the particles there is no meaning in itself right particles are understood the meaning are understood by context by context by the looking at the sentence the context is what defines the meaning because min can sometimes means from sometimes it can means includes sometimes it it has so many meanings min as shaitan right it could become min at tabidi similarly ba bismillah it could mean with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the name, name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right also it could be uh, so many meanings yeah in the name of allah also like fi so b could be many meanings b right so that is why it is said that al huruf yanubu ba'duha ba'da that the uh, that the huruf the particles can take each other's places sometimes fi could take ba's place ba could take fi's place so we look at the context and understand they don't have a fixed meaning that okay this is the particle which should always mean this no it doesn't happen like that so that is why instead of saying fil jamiati we use bil jamiati because that's how it it was said hmm? there's no fixed rule that why are we using bil jamiati we can you say fil jamiati also but bil jamiati is more common hmm? uh, okay anyways woman hada tiflu alladhi ma'aki and who is this infant with you who is this infant with you woman hada tiflu alladhi ma'aki alladhi because tifl is the infant the small boy alladhi who is with you <laughs> wa ibn akhi he is my brother's son uh, my brothers yes he is my brother's son again we learned this this hamza is called hamzatul wasl right we learned in the previous lessons that we say wa ibn akhi we won't stop in between right we join it and skip reading it wa ibn if something comes before it if there's nothing before it we say ibn akhi ibn we give it a kasra wa ibn akhi he is the son of my brother again mudaf nafli mudaf nafli right double double masmuhu what's his name us masmuhu ismuhu saadun his name is saad asmuhu saadun 
أأمكِ في البيت الآن؟ Is your mother in the house now? أأمكِ في البيت الآن؟ لا. No. ذهبت إلى المستشفى. No. She went to the hospital. In the previous lesson, I mean previous lessons, we learned the uh, the masculine one. This is a verb now. This is a verb now. Okay. And whenever a verb comes, you should always, always, always search for a file, a doer of an action, right? For two verbs, that is fa'ala and fa'alat, sometimes the file is hidden. It is called mustatirun, right? We did this before in eighth lesson, seventh lesson, right? It is hidden. So... Sometimes it will come in the sentence. Sometimes it is hidden. For example, in this sentence, how am I translating the sentence? She went to Mustashfa. Now you might ask me a question. Where is the she here? So the she is hidden here. Yeah? A hia is hidden in this. There's a hia. A small hia is hidden, right? A hia is hidden here. Okay. There's a hia. Right? There's a hia here. Right? There's a hia here. In this Zahabat, Ahiya, right? Ahiya is hidden here in this Zahabat. Okay, Ahiya is hidden here. <clears throat> La Zahabat ilal Mustafa. No, she went. It's called Mustatirun. Okay, so every time and always remember the file will always, always come after the verb, it will never come before. Okay, if, if I say Ummi Rahabat ilal Mustashfa. My mother went to the hospital. The Ummi is not the file. It is the Muktada of a sentence. Right? It becomes a Jumla Ismiya. And the whole Jumla failure becomes a Khabar. Okay? The verb, the file should always, and file is always what? Marfur. The file should always have Dhamma. One Dhamma or two Dhammas. Hmm? Okay, inshallah. That was the main lesson. Let's look at some exercises. How are you? Read and write. How is your, how are you, oh father? How are you, father? So how is he? Ana bikhairin walhamdulillah. He can say, Ana bikhairin walhamdulillah. I am fine. So when you're speaking to your mother, you say, How are you, oh mother? So Ana bikhairin walhamdulillah. I am fine, alhamdulillah. Where is your son? Oh, we should not answer this question. We should just read them. Okay. Aina bnuki ya Zainabu. Where is your son? Okay. Aina bnuki. Okay. Some people get confused and they translate it as, Where is your daughter, O Zainab? Right? Daughter. They make it daughter. No, it's son. Zainab can have a son, right? Because they look at this key. Oh, it's a daughter. No, it's not a daughter. It's a son. But you're, the person you're speaking to is Zainab. Right? So, where is your son, O Zainab? Zahaba ilal masjidi. He went. Again, file mustatab. He went to the masjid. Zahaba ilal masjidi. He went. Again, jal majur. Ila is also a preposition, right? The word after preposition is majur. Zahaba ilal masjidi. Aina bintu ki ya aminatu. Where is your daughter? Bintu is daughter. Aina bintu ki ya aminatu. Again, ki. Notice the ki because it's feminine, right? Not ka. Aina bintu ki aminatu. Zahabat ilal madrasati. She went to the. This is she went. Zahaba is he went. Zahabat is she went. She went to the school. Ilal madrasati. Liman hadi saatul jamilatu. Next sentence. Liman hadi saatul jamilatu. Whose is this? Whose? Liman, we learned before. Liman, whose? Belonging to whom? Li is belonging to. Man is who? So belonging to who or whose? Whose is this? Saatul Jamila to again Nath Manut. Right? Adjective. Whose is this beautiful watch? Ahia Laki ya Fatima to? Is it yours, O Fatima? Ahia Laki. See, instead of saying Laka, it's saying Laki. Ahia Laki, does it belong to you, O Fatima? She says, Nam, Hia, Li. Yes, it belongs to me. Now notice we said, uh, <clears throat> We said uh, that a watch is something which we own, right? 
which we own right but here this lamp this lamp does not mean do you have a watch this lamp we said we should use yanda but we are not talking about this is this is lamp of owning something lillahi belonging to here we have to use lamp itself because this lamp is again different right this lamp is different so please don't get confused see when you want to say does it belong to you is it yours we have to use a lamp li right li and when this li joins to a preposition it becomes la lucky laka lahu lahuma lahum laha lahuma lahunna laka lakum lakum lucky lakuma lakunna li lana instead of li lana so this is belonging to we are not talking about do you have a watch hmm? do you have a watch is saying does this watch belong to you or whose is this watch so said is it yours o oh, fatima ah ya in the case do you have a watch now we are talking about does it belong to you so we have to use a lucky so ah ya lucky ya fatima to naam ya li yet belong yet it belongs to yes it belongs to me ahada qalamuka ya muhammad is is this your watch o oh, muhammad ahada qalamuka is this your uh, not watch pen ahada qalamuka ya muhammad is this your pen o oh, muhammad qalamuka now we are speaking to muhammad that's why it's ka la hada qalamuka anta no it is your pen right so have we learned that uh, like when you want to stress that so we bring this anta we bring this anta right because in english what we do is it is yours right we give stress but in arabic we say qalamuka anta that is it is your your pen okay is not my pen it's definitely yours of course ya bitaba it's yours so we don't need the santa here la hada qalamuka is also fine but this is like a reply to that question right so we use a anta also no it is your pen your pen i mean we are just giving most emphasis on tilka sayyaratul jamil hada subject in kalam yes yes hada not the question don't analyze the question la is full stop yes this is just a, a phrase a, a particle how to jawab hada qalamu is a predicate yes alhamdulillah and it is mudaf wa huwa mudaf and ka is mudaf ilayhi anta is just for specific is just extra extra tilka sayyaratul jamilatu that beautiful car allati which kharajatil ana which left now from the school minal madrasati lil mudiri belongs to the belongs to the principal right belongs to the principal belongs to the principal now what is allati and allazi it's it's what it's this is called ismul mausul mausul ismul mausul allazi and allati and allazina all those things and this is extra things again which just left the school this is called silatul mausul that is the one which is follows so the silatul mausul even if we delete this whole thing right even if we delete this whole thing the sentence will make complete sense tilka sayya the actual sentence is tilka sayyaratu that car lil mudiri this is also extra this is an adjective right tilka sayyatu lil mudiri that car belongs to the principal but we are beginning an ismul mausul which is allazi and allati and a silatul mausul what is sila sila is which which what which just left from the school that is you're giving more specification so that the person uh, can identify it easily right so this is called sila so any time you have a allazi or allati the word following or the whole sentence following it it's a sila and we should identify that it's not lil mudir is also not the sila okay uh, allati which just left the school that's it this whole thing is sila and this thing is ismul mausul which brings the sila sila is a, it has a relationship with allati right uh, this happens because of this okay we'll learn more inshallah about it in the future so, uh, ismul mausul and silatul mausul 
Okay. <clears throat> Many people find it difficult uh, when I use these terms. Don't worry about these terms at all, inshallah. Um, I'll keep repeat the, repeating them again and again and again. Like Jadun Majroon might be difficult the first day when you heard it. But now it might be easy, inshallah. Uh, see, Allati is, is the, it's called the Ismul Mausul. It is a relative clause. Uh, the class which brings which gives you a relation this is added in a sentence to uh, give some relations to make the person identify it easier right so this is called isun mausun and the and the relation itself is called silatul mausul sila sila is like a relation right uh, something uh, like uh, a relative something which gives you more idea this is called silatul mausul so even if you delete this whole thing from the sentence right it will not change the meaning of the sentence i mean the sentence is still complete inshallah right inshallah okay i'll say ismul mausul silatul mausul ismul mausul silatul mausul Okay. Okay. Uh, please uh, re-log in again. Inshallah. Okay. Okay. Inshallah. So this is Allazi. We'll we'll deal this in, in the future also. Inshallah. And Muhandisun ya Sayyidi, are you an engineer or oh, sir? Sayyid is sir, or or respected sir. Are you an engineer? La ana tabibu no I'm a doctor no I'm a doctor anta muhandisun ya sayyidi la ana tabibu anti tabibatun ya sayyidati are you a doctor o oh, madam o oh, ma'am are you a doctor la ana mudarrisatun no I'm a teacher no I'm a teacher okay so this this exercise was just reading and writing the second exercise is ikra kullu jumlatin min al change the pronoun in the following sentences to feminine that we should change this to feminine for example aina khalamuka ya abi so we should change it to feminine please help me in this exercise aina khalamuki ya ummi okay so instead of saying abi you have to say ummi and ka we say ki this gives us good practice of ka and ki aindaka khalamun ya muhammad do you have a do you have a Pen, O oh, Muhammad. So what I have to say? We are speaking to Amina. He's speaking to Amina. Ainda. Instead of saying ka, what will say? Ainda ki. Yes, this is what will change. Ainda ki, alamun, alamun. Everything else will remain the same. Ainda ki, alamun, ya Amina. Do you have a pen? Aina baitu ka ya Sayyidi. Where uh, is your house? So instead of Aina Baituka, I will say Aina Baituki. You're speaking to Sayyidati, right? Oh, ma'am. Baituki, ma'am. Zakallah. Aha, that daftaru lakaya Ali. Is this notebook yours, O oh, Ali? Aha, the. Haza will remain same, right? Daftaru will also same. Aha, that daftaru. Is this. You're speaking to Fatima now. Aha, that daftaru. Lucky. Instead of saying laka, we say lucky. Aha, the taftaru. Lucky, a Fatima too. Is this notebook yours? Min aina anta yaaki. Where are you from? So we say min aina anti. Right? Min aina anti. Whenever it's feminine, yes, we should change it properly because in Arabic we are very specific to whom we are speaking. Also, right? We cannot say it's not uh, like in English. There's only one form, you. You, right? You that you can be a male, that you can be a female. It could be a plural, it could be a singular, it could be double, two dual. But in Arabic, for that same you, we have six forms: anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna. Right? If it is singular masculine, double, uh, dual masculine, plural masculine, then singular feminine, dual feminine, and plural feminine. Right? So we have so many forms, but in English, it's only one word. 
Aina Abu ka ya Khalidu. Where's your father? Oh Khalid. Yards is also the same thing. Yards could be a could be owned by one person, two people, three people, masculine or feminine, but in English, I mean in Arabic we have specificity. I mean it's very specific. Aina Abu ki ya Khadija tu. Where's your father? Oh, we don't change the Abu to Ummu, yeah. Hmm. Many people do that mistake. Where is your mother or Khatija? And I know we are talking about father. Instead of saying ka, we say ki. Uh, are you sick? Please help me with this. The whole sentence. <clears throat> because I hope. Anti, yes. Anti. Next one. Anti. Then what comes? <clears throat> Anti Mari Datun, yes, yeah. Anti Mari Datun, this is what I was wanting because many people do a mistake here, they say Mari Dun again, okay. It's Mari Datun, why? Because Khalati, you're speaking to a feminine, right? So it cannot be Mari Dun, it should be Mari Datun. Aina Baituka Yami, where's your house? Aina Baituki, Aina Baituki, Baituki. In a baituki ya ammati. So Khal is your mother's brother, and Khala is your mother's sister. Am is your father's brother, and ammati is our father's sister. Right? Khal Khalati. So we should not get confused. Similarly, we have three more. Alaka akhunya hamidun. Do you have a brother? We say alaki akhunya suadu. Not ukhtuna. It's akhun itself. Do you have a brother? Oh suad. Mada inda kayahi. What? Do you have, oh brother, oh my brother, Mada in the key, ya ukhti? What do you have? Oh sister, anything, you could have anything. Eh? Assalamu alayka ya abi, hmm? peace be upon you, oh my father. Assalamu alayki ya ummi. Right? Assalamu alayki ya ummi. Okay, this was the exercise where we changed the ka to ki, alhamdulillah. So I hope it gave us a good practice about it next one is about the verb change the subject the following sentences how many exercises do you have three four five six so four more exercises and we'll end this lesson inshallah <clears throat> and small just two pages more um, change the subject the following sentences to feminine as explained in the example so uh, we should change it to feminine very easy Khadaja Muhammadun min al -bayti. We should say Kharajat Amina to Minal Baiti. Amina left the house. Right? Zahabal Mudarresu ilal Fasli. So we should say the but. And we cannot say Mudarris now because we use the feminine form. You have to say Al Mudarri Satu Zahabadal. It looks like Mudarasa, but it is Mudarri Satu. Al Mudarri Satu ilal Fasli. Right? It remains the same. Ilal Fasli. Zahaba abi ilal mustashfa. What will be the next one, please? Anyone? Zahabat. I helped in this. Next, abi ilal mustashfa. Right? Zahabat. What will be the next one? Word. Next word, please. Ummi, <coughs> yes. I cannot say to my father, Zahabat, right? It should be Ummi, Naam. That is why I was waiting, Alhamdulillah. Right, Alhamdulillah. Right, it should be very alert, Alhamdulillah. Zahabat Ummi ilal mustashfa. Why? Because I cannot say Zahabat Abi now. Jalasat Talibu fil Fasli. Jalasat Talibatun, Naam. Now we have to see this has a sukun, so and this has a sukun, right? So we cannot pronounce it. So what we'll give? We'll give a kasra. Jalasatit talibatu, right? Iltikhaus sakinan cannot happen. Okay, jalasatit talibatu. So talibatu fil fasli. Fil fasli. Jalasatit talibatu fil fasli. Okay, the house sakinan cannot happen, so this is how it is. This is the Talibatu, fill firstly. Khadaja Akhi Minal Baiti. 
kharajat again my brother left the house kharajat ukhti my sister left the house naam baiti very easy kharajat so instead of zahaba we say zahabat zahaba zahabat zalasa jalasat kharaja kharajat inshallah next exercise to amal ma yali understand the following jalasat at talibatu right this has a sukun and this also has a sukun it's not written any letter which which doesn't have a fatha damma kasra generally speaking it has a sukun al this is uh, right this has a sukun it's not nothing is written because when it's a, al actually but something comes before it, we won't pronounce it right so we'll go we'll jump directly to the shamsiya letter jalasat at talibatu so it happens is we give a kasra so what happens is if there is this sukun and this sukun hmm, al al sukun it is changed into a kasra no iltiqaus sakinain two sukuns cannot join we cannot pronounce it then we have to say jalasat talibatu jalasat talibatu and we'll not have a good clarity so jalasat talibatu because this is getting assimilated into this we cannot do that we have to give a kasra jalasat it it's, it's temporary yeah if this drops if this is not there it'll, it'll come back to sukun jalasat jalasat it comes back to that next exercise iqra we just have to read the sentences uh, this is about allati allati manil fata and al fata also who is the young boy or the young man alladhi kharaja min baitikal an who just left your house now huwa ibn ammi he is my uncle's son so al fata is young boy or young man <clears throat> young man uh, okay manil fata tu who is the young girl young woman or young lady allati well well where did it happen man man getting us ah yeah 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 the same thing happened here too man has a sukun man has a sukun and this also has a sukun the same thing happened here manil manil yes sometimes yes alhamdulillah manil fata to because we cannot pronounce them man man we cannot say that na wa bunu well huwa huwa it's huwa right this is the whole word huwa huwa bunu and because of this hamzatul wasl we are pronouncing it like that huwa bunu right wa it's part of huwa right it's part of huwa it's not a separate wa okay wow it's not a separate wow it is a part of huwa because this is hamzatul wasl we are just joining it okay inshallah Uh, Manil Fatah, who's the young girl, Allati, who left, who left from your house just now, Ya Muhammadu, hmm? who 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 came out from your house now, Ya Muhammadu, he or she is Bintu Khalati. She is the daughter of my Khala, the, my mother's sister, my aunt's daughter. Limanil Miftah, see again, Kasra. Limanil Miftah, who whose is this key, Allati, Alal Maktab, which is on the table. huwa lil mudarris it belongs to the teacher li again is a hafu jar belonging to the meaning here is belonging to or it is for the teacher also the meaning is the same it's for the teacher or belonging to the teacher whose key is this it belongs to the teacher liman is saatu lati so instead of saying mifta because it is muzakkar we are saying allazi now as saatu this is muannas we are saying allati whose is this watch which is on the, the translation is the same which allati ala safi which is on the bed hiya li zawji ukhti it belongs to the spouse of my sister my sister's spouse okay my sister's spouse ukhti li zawj belongs to the, this is also mudaf mudaf double mudaf yeah hmm? this is number 1 and 2 then 1 and 2 i mean 2 and 3 hiya li zawji ukhti hmm? it belongs to my sister's husband last exercise of the day and we finish this lesson alhamdulillah the 13th lesson is very big the 13th 13th lesson is very big because we go into the plurals of 
هذا هؤلاء and so on. So let's finish this today, inshallah. And tomorrow we can do half of 13th lesson. Then next week we can continue with the remaining half. Or maybe it will take three classes. Let's see. Uh, lesson 9 was big. Lesson 13 is big. Then 14, 15, 16 is also okay. Then we might have one more big lesson. Inshallah. Akmil al-jumal al-latiya bivadi ismun mausul. See, we learned about ismun mausul. So if it is masculine, we put allazi. And if it is feminine, we put allati. That's it. Allazi and allati. So help me with this, please. There are 10 sentences. So if it is, uh, you can type one or two. What is one? One is allazi and allati is feminine. Two. Okay. Al kitabu dash alal maktabi lil mudar risi. The book which is on, both the translation is which? The book which is on the table belongs to the teacher. One, one. Yes. Even I'll write one. <laughs> Who's right? Allazi, no. Al kalamu dash fi haqibati maksudan. The pen which is in my bag is broken. Allazi allati. One or two. One, alhamdulillah. As sayyadatu dash kharajat min al mustashfa al an lit tabib al jadid. Two. As sayyadatu lati kharajat min al mustashfa al an. The car which, which left the hospital now belongs to the new doctor. Al kalbu dash fil hadiqati maridun. The dog who's, I mean, which is in the garden is sick. This is one, allazi, because kalb is masculine. Yeah, very easy. Alhamdulillah. Al, now be careful with al fata huh? al fata dash kharaja min al masjid al ana ibn al muazzini so what is al fata one again it's a young boy right al fata lazi kharaja the boy young boy who left the masjid now he's the son of the muaddin very easy tilk al battatu that duck which is under the tree tahta shajarati li bint al fallah that duck allati because duck is feminine Right, تلك البطة التي تحت الشجرة لبنت الفلاح belongs to the daughter of the farmer. Farmer, فلاح is farmer, daughter of the farmer. Next, البيت الجديد في ذلك الشارع للوزير. البيت. This is what الوزير, right? One, the how the new house. Which is in that street belongs to the minister, Lil Waziri. Now, at Darsu dash Bada has a Darsi salon. The lesson after this, the lesson which comes after this lesson is very easy, although it is not, right? It's just scaring us. At Darsu Ladi Bada has a Darsi salon. It's very easy. So please do not, it's long, but it's easy. Inshallah, it's easy. It's just long, so long after this lesson. Manil Fata to dash Jalasat Amam al Madrasa, Mudarrisa, who is the young girl who's sitting uh, in front of the teacher. Talibatun min Malaysia. She is a student from Malaysia. Right? She is a student from Malaysia. This is Allati. Right? Manil Fatatu, because Fatatu is young girl. Fata is young boy, a young girl. Who's the young girl who's sitting? Amam uh, al Mudarrisa. Atil kal haqibatu dash tahta al maktabi laka ya khalidu. Is that bag which is below the table belonging to you, O Khalid? So haqibatu is allati. Atil kal haqibatu allati tahta al maktabi. Tahta is again zarf, yeah? Zarf and mudafilehi. The word after it is called mudafilehi. Zarf and mudafilehi. La hiya li sadiqi Muhammad. There's nothing to write here. No, it belongs to my friend Muhammad. Muhammad. La hiya li sadiqi Muhammadu. Muhammad. Okay. That's it. Alhamdulillah. Al-Ammu Akhul Ab. Who's the uncle? The father's brother. Again, this is Mudaf and Mudaf Lehi. Al-Am is the uncle's brother. Al-Amma Akhtul Ab. Father's sister. Al-Khalu Akhul Am. Akhul Um. Mother's brother. Al-Khalatu Akhtul Um. Mother's sister. Sayyidi, Sayyidati, that is Sir, Sir, Madam, Mustashwal Vilada, Maternity Hospital. So these are some points. Please read these points. Whatever we learned, all the grammar rules are there in this. Anta, now we are learning Anti, right? And Ka, and we are learning Ki. Everything is there in these 
notes. Allazi, we are learning Allati and we learn Antha. Why, why did this Antha come? Because Antha has been added for emphasis. Hada kitabuka Antha. This is your book. This is used in case of doubt or dispute. If there's a doubt or dispute, what do you do? You add a Antha or something like that. Like for example, Hada baituhu huwa. This is his house. There's no doubt about it. Hada khalami ana. This is my pen, Anna. That is, I am the owner of the pen. There's no doubt at all. Dalika kitabuha hiya. This is her book, her book. That is hers. Right? Double, double. This is all for the emphasis. Al ammu paternal uncle, vocabulary. Al amma paternal uncle, aunt. Al khalu maternal uncle. Al khalatu maternal aunt. Mustashfal vilada maternity hospital. Ya Sayyidi, sir. Ya Sayyidati, madam. Kaifahaluka, how are you? Ummahatun, plural of Ummun. The plural of Ummun is Ummahat. Ummahat. Wuzara'u, hmm? the plural of Wazir. Wazirun, Wuzara'u, minister. Wazir, hmm? Wuzara'u. Qawiyun, strong, Akhviya'u. Qawiyun, Akhviya'u. Ba'da, after. The noun following Ba'da is in genitive case. The noun following Ba'da is Ba'dal. Badal kitabi. Okay, because it is like a zarf. Zarfu zaman. It tells you about the time. You can try to learn, inshallah. Or else, if you, even if you don't learn, they will keep repeating it again and again. So, it's okay. Try to learn. Because vocabs are important, but they are not so important for these, this book, at least. Because he uses those words again and again and again. Inshallah. By the time we finish book one, all this will be memorized by repetition. Inshallah. But don't focus so much on vocabulary. Inshallah. Because we cannot learn. We are not kids. So, like we have to sit and alamu, alamu, alamu. Right? Asha jara to asha jara. Tree, tree, tree. Whenever that word comes across in a sentence, we'll just find out the meaning. If you forget. You can ask uh, that what's the meaning of this? I'll just say that this is the meaning Ashajara tree, Surya Syria, right? So on. Al Madrasatul Mutawasita, middle school. Al Mufatish, because understanding is more important now. Because uh, for adults, understanding is like we understand easily now. Al Mufatish. For kids, memorization is easy. For them, learning is, uh, understanding is difficult because they cannot understand co complex things easier, easily. Right. Even now we can memorize Alhamdulillah, no problem. Right, no problem. But the effort should be more on understanding the, the concepts, the rules. Yeah. Al Mufattish, the inspector, Al Fatatu, young lady, at Daftaru notebook, Malaysia, Malaysia. Yes, it's they are very cheap, yeah. Very cheap. <laughs> like eighty rupees or something, seventy rupees, hundred rupees you'll get book one, but this not this book. You'll get a bad quality, like the black and white ones. The color ones are not there. The color ones are costly even here. The colored ones. This is the colored version. Right? You have the the black and white. I'll just show you. The normal. That was a classical book. And they don't even have the Tashkils also. Right? This is how it is. This is the book. Old book. I used to teach from this book and someone gave me the PDF uh, or told me to download it. And then from then on, I'm teaching from that. Even when, even this, uh, this new version, see, this is the old one. This is what we get here. We don't get the colored ones here. Yeah. It, it doesn't have Fata Dhamma Kasra also. See, it's yeah, though. Yes. It can be saved, yes. Inshallah. This cannot be saved. Oh, this is okay. <laughs> this is a PDF. You cannot save a PDF, maybe. I don't know. We are Android users. <laughs> okay. The Aif and the Weak. The Aif and the plural is the Aif. Al Mamlakatul Arabi, this Saudi Arabia. This is the kingdom of Saudi. Arabia, Al Mamlakatut, Arabia to Saudi. That's it, Alhamdulillah, inshallah.
we'll see you tomorrow with 13th lesson inshallah with 13th lesson where we move on and learn about the plurals now plurals haulai so we've learned haza hazi the plural is haulai similarly we learned zalika and tilka we we'll, we we'll learn we we'll learn now ulaika the plurals hmm? inshallah and it's a big lesson it's a big lesson see after the part 1 we have so many exercises teaching us all the plurals 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 right then we have part 2 of the lesson where we learn the plurals for the feminine like in english to make plurals yeah yeah yes there is a method i oh, no, no. Uh, no not exactly not exactly not exactly there are no there is no there is no method <laughs> Right, there's no method. I just have to memorize. <laughs> there's no fixed pattern. Sometimes it's this, sometimes it's that. There's no pattern. So anytime we learn a new word, we learn we learn its plurals also. That's how we do. <laughs> okay. And this is the third part of the lesson. So this might take three to four classes. It's like three lessons into one. Right? Lesson number. 13 then we have 14 which is small 15 it is small right but 13 is like all about the plurals all all everything about the plurals inshallah which will take some time there's no pattern there's no pattern for uh, there are some words can we go slow in the next we went fast today did we i thought we went slow if we did go fast today then i'll slow down no, oh, okay. Can we go like generally? Yes, inshallah. Right, like, like today, inshallah. Like today. Can we go like today? Inshallah. Yes, yes. These are the same Madina books. These are the same Madina. What, what happened is this is the like the new edition for UK. UK and so many other schools. What they did was they divided the three Madina books into seven books or seven or eight books. Like the first book was divided into two books. Then the second book was divided into three books. And the third book was also divided into three books again. So three plus three, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight books. That's how it is. And these are like colored and they have Tashkil. And they put the key here. Like in the classical books. Yes, yes. The classical books don't have this explanation here. Points to remember. They don't have this. It's just fully Arabic. So... But when we come to book three, we don't have the eighth book now. We just have till seven. So I have till, till lesson 11 of book three. After lesson 11, you have to go back to the old book. <laughs> inshallah. But, but till that time, we'll get used to the inshallah. Inshallah. Ta'ala. We'll try to go more slowly, inshallah. Communicating in Arabic language. Oh, that'll take a lot of time. <laughs> that'll take a lot of time. Inshallah, you can start communicating even now. Even now, how is that possible? Whatever forms we've learned here, right? Or questions, the dialogues which are there here, start communicating. Like for example, bintu, whomever you should, you need a partner though. You need a partner. You should ask. I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. كانوا قليلا من الليل ما يهجعون وبالأسحار هم يستغفرون